4 p.m. We're bringing developing news and the stories behind the headlines. This is Torikon. I'm Edling Gao. And some stories are watching this Thursday, October 31, Halloween. Leon has now weakened into a typhoon. It was last located 155 kilometers north of Itbayat in Batanes, where signal number three remains. Signal number two is still up over Babuyan Islands, while signal number one is over parts of Luzon. Leon will exit the Philippine Air of Responsibility tonight or early tomorrow morning. As of today, damage to agriculture from Christine and Typhoon Leon is estimated at 2.9 billion pesos. Damage to infrastructure is pegged at over 6.3 billion pesos. Meantime, Malacanang says government aid to victims of Christine and Leon has reached nearly 900 million pesos. As of today, damage to agriculture from Christine and Typhoon Leon is estimated at 2.9 billion pesos as we said. Damage to infrastructure again at 6.3. I think we already went through this. Can we move forward, further up? Okay. And uh, joining us today is Torricon's uh, resident Baguio. <laughs> Super Typhoon Ronald Yamas, <laughs> our resident political pundit. Ah, hindi maganda yun. Ayaw mo nun. Destructive. Hindi, <laughs> pag, pag, pag umubo kasi kinakaban kami. <laughs> Malabag yung dating mo eh. Oh, and from uh, the Philippine Star, ano naman? Uh, yes, here we go. <laughs> Ang uh, bagyo ng Paranaque, <laughs> si Ami Pumintuan. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Uh, welcome back, Ronald. Oh, diba? Happy Thursday, oh. Ami. Mm. Happy Thursday, happy uh, na. Magaling na, magaling. Oo, oh, oh, bok na-miss ka namin. <laughs> ha? Uh, baka, <laughs> baka naman kung ano pinagagawa mo. Uh, Bedroom boys pa nga hanggang ngayon. Oh, <laughs> Di, di ko na <laughs> Isolated sa bedroom. That, that was kind of the farthest from my mind. But anyway, <laughs> sige, let's leave it there. <laughs> Ami, anong headlines nyo? Binabantayan pa rin natin yung bagyo, although ano, nag-signal number, nag nag number five sa Batanes. Ha? So, hinihintay natin yung mga damage reports pa. Pero 150 na, but that's the for Christine and Leon. Mm -hmm. Saka, of course, tinitingnan natin yung mga reaction dun sa latest OCTA survey na merong significant drop sa approval trust ratings trust ni ratings. Vice President Sara Duterte uh -huh. from the second quarter. Pati si President Marcos, mga, I think it's two points, pero ano tayo, within the margin of error daw, so stable na, actually yung mm -hmm. kanilang, ano, mm -hmm. kanilang sinabi na ano. Yan yung mga binabantayan natin ngayon. Hmm. But mga kababayan, uh, mamayang uh, later in the show, we will have as our guest uh, si uh, Professor Angie Tray ng Octa Research to talk about itong survey na ito. So, uh, hangon lang kayo dyan. At, uh, suke. Oh, ang, suke, ang ating suke na si Prop uh, Angie Tray. Uh, he will explain hmm. to us the nitty-gritty and the nuances dun sa mga numbers, mga bagong numbers. Parang memorize na natin eh. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, uh, Bok, ano ha? Uh, uh, Ami, ah, uh, Medyo terrifying yung video ng ano ng uh, bagyo kag kagabi sa ano sa Batanes. Oh, oh, yes, kaya nga eh. Hmm, kaya nga. So, sa sa pool din ng konti yung Cagayan, di ba? Yeah, kaya yeah. iniintay pa natin yung mga latest doon. Pero yung Cagayan hindi masyado ano eh. Damage. Yung Cagayan hindi masyado malakas yung hangin eh. I mean, malakas siya, ako hmm. malakas, pero compared yes. to the previous uh, storms uh, that we've seen uh, hit the Cagayan, hindi siya as uh, as uh, terrifying kayong eh, flash floods wala oh, masyado flash wala also masyado. kasi na, na, nakita okay, ko kasi nag, nag, nag number 5 nga kasi sa Batanes sa Batanes napakalakas oh. noon parang Yolanda yon ha oh, oh. yung sa Yolanda remember yung mga talagang flat siya na flatten siya literally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na wala lahat yan mm -hmm. yung signal number 5 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, eh, teka po, mm -hmm. si, ano, si, ang ating uh, reporter, well, yung reporter News 5 uh, na nasa Cagayan, nasa Santa Ana, Cagayan, na uh, as of yesterday, yung pinakadulong-dulo mm -hmm. ng Luzon, mm -hmm. uh, si Brian Basa. I think Brian's already on the line. Brian, are you there? Yes. Hi, po. Hi, Brian. Magandang hapon, Brian. Andiyan ka Hi. sa Santa, Santa Ana o bumaba ka na sa Tugigraw? Uh, actually, after... <laughs> It's on our way to Apari, okay. Because of Bukok. Okay, Westward. Hmm. How come you're there? Um, kapit na lang weather situation natin sa Santa. Fair weather na rin dito. Sa, Fair. Ayun kasi, it is Bugay. Uh, yung town that gets us next to Apari. Um, fair weather, we're speaking to the weird sky. Bukang nakasilip naman yung araw. Um, uh, tuyo naman ang mga kalsada at yung mga taong nasa labas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Kamo saying damage ko meron man o casualties to sa Santa Ana kuno san ka I think uh, overnight no. Uh, you were there overnight. Yeah. Sa so, Santa Ana um damage lang isang bahay lang sa may barangay Santo na pinasabi at uh, storm surge. And by the way, just pass by this uh parang may na totoong si bato na pa Okay, Brian, Brian, uh, we'll get back to you in a bit kasi medyo choppy ka. Uh, I think oh. it's because you're also mobile. So si Brian came from Santana where he spent the night. Uh, Santana, for those who are not so familiar, uh, dulo yan ng Luzon, uh, kung saan makikita mo pare-pareho yung mga kotse, mga malilit na ini-import mm -hmm. sa, sa export processing mm -hmm. zone. <laughs> yung mga box type na, ano, boxy na ano, malilit na kotse. Hindi ko lang kung China ano. At uh, nandun din yung uh, Naval Air Station na uh, Camilo Osias, ang isa sa mga EDCA sites. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh. Hindi siya nagamit ano dahil bumabagyo lang naman. Sira tinama ng bagyo. <laughs> I suppose hindi ka mag hindi ka magpo-position ng mga eroplano doon pag may bagyo. Kumusta <laughs> yung bahagi oh. ng Ilocos na tinamaan? Uh, paano nung kahapon yata? Diyan ka masyado. Makita mm. natin merong may pula-pula. Oh, may pula-pula oh. eh. Ma mas bok yung uh. mas pula-pula mm. kahapon is a uh, uh, um, bandang ano na Abra. Yeah. Uh, Abra. Uh, yeah. Abra. Mm. Uh, but we haven't gotten any word from Abra yet. Eh. Wala pa. Uh, although, mm. ano, uh, if yung, you... Ano, yung agricultural damage, kasi yun mm. ang problema sa Northern Luzon, di ba? Especially yung Isabela Cagayan area. Kasi, ano yun, mm. mais at bigas yan eh. Rice. Uh, mais at palay. Mm. Uh, yun, yun ang iniintay pa natin. Uh, although, yun nga, Kaya, if you... If, Kasama ko lang yung governor ng Isabela kanina. Oh, so, oh. sabi nila, mm. hindi naman ganun kalaki yung damage. Mm -hmm. uh, for now, mm -hmm. uh, sa monitoring mm -hmm. niya. Well, it, it, I, I suppose mm -hmm. it also helps in a way na yung brunt ng typhoon na doon sa northernmost tip ng Luzon, yes. uh, hindi doon sa bandang baba pa ng konti. Kasi kung doon sa bandang baba pa ng konti, mas maraming tubig may ipon yan at yeah. aagos yan papunta doon sa, ano, sa kagayan. Pero dikit na dikit sila ng kagayan. Dikit, eh. dikit Kaya, na. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, delikado mm -hmm. rin sila pag mga ganyan mga bagyo. Uh, si Brian, I think, is on the line. Ha? Brian, are you there? Brian, oh, are you there? Wala pa rin. Bumita ulit. Pero, pero ngayon, hanggang ngayon, nag-aaway pa yata dun sa Bicol, ano, yung response dun, dun sa baha sa Christine. Eh, sabi nung ibang sa, ang, ang pinaproblema yung magkaano daw yung ginamit dun sa bilyon-bilyon na Ay, oh. binasto. Sa flood control. Sa flood control, yan. Hindi pa tapos siyang usapin na yan kahit wala na yung bagyo eh. Mm. Saka, tinitingnan yung mga, ano, yung mga disaster response sa uh, interventions. Sabi ni Mahar, Mahar Lagmay, Lagmay ng NOAA, hindi daw sapat yung flood control project doon actually to to withstand the amount of rainfall and flooding. Mm -hmm. Yan yung mga ano natin. Mm -hmm. well, although, I mean, it could also be a one-two punch eh, kasi on the other hand, eh, may nakita tayo at least yung mga uh, mm -hmm. litrato, mga litrato ng mga tulay na parang walang bakal sa ilalim. <laughs> Ikinayad yung ilalim. Parang, parang, parang simento lang nasa taas. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have Brian already back online. Uh, Brian, are you there? Hi, Bok. Hi, and, you, uh, Betrayer. Ami. There we go. Uh, meron akong silan actually sa iyo, Bok, na picture nung dinitiscribe ko ngayon na Uh, na daanan namin dito sa on our way to Apari. Merong parang pang nag-collapse na part ng uh, pinaka-pater o pinaka-boundary nung uh, uh, gilid nung kalye. Tapos uh, nakikita namin yung water coming from the Babuyan Channel uh, mm -hmm. nag-flow dun sa road. Tapos yung, if you see dun sa picture that I sent you on Messenger book, medyo may reddish na putik. Oo. Oh. Oo, so malambot yung lupa. Although, uh, ang good news naman, for now, impossible pa rin naman itong uh, kalyeng ito. Kasi ito lang yung kalye na magdadala sa amin sa Apari. And we just noticed this kasi nga we were just talking about uh, kung may damage ba sa structures, di ba, after uh, the, uh, yung pananalasa ng uh, bagyong leon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're uh, showing your photo right now, although malit lang yung, ano, yung tablet ko. Yun, oh. Sino kakayaan niya? <laughs> Kamusta, Brian, yung kwan dyan? Wala bang landslides dyan sa Marag Valley, sa Cagayan? Yan kasi yung mga usually... Marag dinad Valley talaga. Oh, dinadaanan ng kwan dyan eh, ng mga bagyo. Uh, <coughs> Excuse. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.
uh, regarding that. Pero yun nga, so far, kung last night na pinag-uusapan, wala naman tayong nakita because all roads are uh, seem to be passable as of the moment, lalo na sa Santa Ana, kasi kagabi ang, re ang report natin was pinangangambahang magkaroon ng flash flood, right? Uh, although ngayon, nadadaan na naman na lahat ng uh, mga kalsada. Uh, and uh, including this one, itong nakita natin ngayon na on our way to Aparin. Dahil ma malawak Riot, din yung mountain ngayon, range dyan. Riot, preparation sa Ondas. And in fact, may mga tao na nagpupunta sa sementeryo. Ano yung na-observe mo yeah. naman dyan na related to this, yung observance ng All Souls and All Souls Days? Kasi dito sa Central Luzon, maraming mga sementeryo na baha eh. Hanggang ngayon, baha. Oo. Uh Oo. -oh. Uh -oh. Right at the back, uh, Ami, no, on our way here, nakakita tayo agad ng mga police mobile sa sementeryo. So, ibig sabihin, Meron ng uh, police presence, increase na ang security sa mga sementeryo, lalo na uh, inaasahang uh, dadagsain ito ng mga tao, cemetery goers uh, ngayong undas. Uh, ang uh, inaganda naman dito sa Cagayan, uh, walang uh, flooding sa mga sementeryo. So pag pagtitingnan pag natin ang mga nicho, kasi di ba, uh, Ami, ang mga nicho sa mga sementeryo sa ano, Exposed eh, walang gate. So, kita mo yes. agad. So, hmm. ano, walang baha. Uh, it's a, uh, ano, kasing dry ng weather. Kasing dry ng fair weather natin hmm. today. Anong tingin mo, Brian, dun sa, anong observation mo sa typhoon preparedness para dito sa napakalakas na bagyo na ito? Uh, Kung ba siya? Pasang awa? Yeah. Uh, excellent? Poor? Anong, kan mo, assessment mo? Uh, for me, ako ang nagdala sa mga residente at otoridad dito sa Cagayan is their early response. Uh, hindi pa dumarating yung bagyo, nag-iikot na raw talaga ang mga opisyal sa mga residente. Inihikay na silang uh, lumikas to move to safer ground. And it paid off because uh, uh, there, there are no casualties or injuries from this storm. I mean, of course, let's give it to the residents of Cagayan. Uh, they are used to weathering storms like this. Pero according to them, no, itong uh, Super Typhoon Leon na dumaan sa kanila, uh, malakas compared to the previous storms that they experienced. So, uh, nakatulong yung kanilang uh, pihanda, yung kanilang mabilis na uh, pagkilos at uh, agaran din ang pag-aabot ng ayuda sa mga residente kasi nga uh, hindi lahat ng mga tao rito ay agad makababalik sa kanilang mga hanap buhay. So, yes, uh, they have done a good job on that aspect, Peter Ronald. So, wala namang boat buying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, none of the sort. Uh, none of the sort at this time. no Talagang ang focus nila, ang kanilang uh, layunin during that this time, Uh, at lalo na nung uh, panahuna nung uh, bagyo ay uh, masiguro na ligtas ang lahat ng mga tao. Hmm. Ah, tama pala. Nagsalita kasi si President Marcos, sabi niya, able handling daw ng disaster management. Yung ano, siguro, siguro medyo tinablan sila lahat doon sa nangyari doon sa Christine naman, ano? Hmm. <laughs> Kamusta na, Brian, yung sa, kwan, yung sa Batanes? Dahil Medyo horrifying yung mga yung video kagabi, kahapon. No? Hmm. Talagang medyo matindi. Asing signal number five. So, kamusta rin yung hmm. pandon, yung uh, damage? Uh, ang mga nakikita nating videos, uh, usually may effect talaga doon sa kuryente, sa accessibility, because that was a problem for us. When we last went to Patanes, nung uh, uh, aftermath ng Taipun Hulian, uh, talaga communication was down. It was difficult to transmit material and uh, I'm sure lalo na ngayon na uh, sa kanila talaga bumuga ang uh, ang uh, super typhoon na yon uh, that would be a problem uh, pero like just like kagayan Batanes also prepared for uh, this storm uh, parang malapit pa lang sa kagayan yung uh, storm uh, Batanes governor Mari Lupaipo already said that she had ordered uh, massive information dissemination uh, of uh, being prepared or your preparedness uh, for uh, uh, the calamity that was uh, about to hit them. So ngayon, um, yung nakita nating uh, impact ng storm, it was the calamity working itself. Uh, although, meron akong um, 
points doon about the uh, ano yung sa kanilang uh, materials sa mga bahay kasi di ba sa Basco bato. hindi na masyadong uso yung bahay na bato kasi na protected area ang Batanes sa uh, Island Group so puro light materials yung mga bahay so yun ang uh, medyo concerning kasi kakaunti lang daw yung aggregate na meaning yung mga buhangin pa, yung mga materials na pinigay ng DENR sa kanila in uh, rebuilding their homes. So mukhang yun hmm. ang uh, pinamaan nitong uh, super typhoon na yun. Ah, so, so you mean ngayon sa Batanes, eh, marami na yung mga light materials na bahay? Uh, sorry kasi for the longest time, uh, ang, ang perception ng maraming tao ay eh, puro bahay na batuhin Batanes. Oh. Eh, diba? At least tradis traditionally. traditionally. Oh. So nagbago na pala ang... Oh. Uh, ano, ang uh, oh, or baka ito. light pero durable. May mga bago kasing ganun eh. Na mga prefab. I wish you, yeah. I wish you could say durable, ano? Eh kaso, uh, what we saw nung Typhoon Julian was talagang... Uh, Pinata pa yung ibang mga bahay. Hmm. Kasi yung mga materials sa gamit nila didn't even come from them. Parang in-import pa ata hmm. uh, from Manila. So mahal na. And for them, hindi pa sila satisfied sa quality ng uh, mga materiales na kanilang uh, yung available lang sa kanila. Hindi rin nila magamit yung sarilang mga gamit and resources, natural resources, kasi nga raw mahigpit ang DNR pagdating dyan. Ah, so kaya hindi na nagtatayo ng bahay na bato dahil uh, protected area, ganun ba? Uh, they, they're not able to just use uh, yung mga... Natural ato, rocks, ato. no? Ganun ba yun? Uh, yes, tama, tama right? po. Yes, tama po. Kaya yung mga nakikita natin sa AP, araling panlipo ng textbook, na bahay na bato, <laughs> batanes, well, that's a, it's, a, it's a more of a historical thing now. Pag nakakita ka ng bahay na bato sa Batanes, it's more of a tourist destination rather hmm. than an everyday uh, uh, part of their uh, life and culture. Okay, okay. Yan pa rin ang best place kung uh, gusto mong iwasan si Manny Mogato at si Ed Lingao, yan pa rin yung best place na tumira. <laughs> Lalo si Mogato kasi pag, pag, pag uh, 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 humilik yun, eh, bag, uh, bagyuhin yun eh. Oo. Uh, uh. <laughs> Napakatahimik doon talaga as in uh, cut off ka Uh, in a way, from the busy world, uh, although siyempre sa atin, alam nyo naman ang trabaho natin, hanggat may, mayroong uh, internet connection, hahanap pa, hahanap pa rin ang paraan para makapag-transmit ng information. Mm. But normally kasi sa ganyang bagyo, ang una buwabagsak is kuryente at pangalawa, telecoms. Uh, kasi yeah. connectado yun sa kuryente. <laughs> Pero marami na kasi yung mga rechargeable. Kahit mga na-med, wala dyan telecoms. Oo, but that's only good for how, many, how long eh. Then you have to go solar. Eh, isang, you know? oh, isang araw. Mm. Kahit naman noon, Ed, ang hirap-hirap mag-connecta dyan, remember? Oo, oh, <laughs> oh, kahit, kahit walang bagyo. Kahit, 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 kahit walang bagyo, ang hirap bumiyahin dyan. Kahit walang bagyo. Pero oh. ano, Brian, may mga evacuees ba sa Batanes? Kasi medyo maliit lang naman yung lugar na yan eh. Kapag nagtago ka sa isang lugar eh, madali ka makakauwi doon sa inyo. Meron ba silang evacuation? I, uh, I know that there, um, ano ko merong evacuation center doon. Uh, pero when you ask the residents there, ang sasabihin nila, eh, tanay naman na kami sa bagyo. Oh, That's why ang tendency is uh, mag-stay sila and then the following day, pag medyo maliwanas ng panahon, uh, magsisimula na silang maglinis ng gamit, mag-rebuild ng uh, kanilang hmm. bahay. Uh, exactly what we what we saw doon kami yung nandoon uh, like last month ata. Yun. Yan yung, mm. yan yung lugar na pwede ka maging congressman with 8 to 9,000 votes. Mm. <laughs> okay ka na dyan. <laughs> Pero mga lugar nga, 4,000 lang eh. 4,000, magpapatayam pa yung mga yun. Over, uh, over that. Uh, hindi sa Batanes. <laughs> <laughs> sa Basilan. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ano? Meron ba, Brian? O ano? O, uh, we let you go na? Okay na. Okay. Maraming salamat. Brian Basa reporting live from uh, on the way to Apari pala. On the way to Apari. Salamat, uh, Brian. Heading westward from uh, Santa Ana. Thank you, Brian. Oh. Bok, ano lang. Basahin ko lang. May quick advisory galing kay Mase, uh, Marisa Haridi, hmm. Haridi. Dun sa ano? Sa ano ba ito? Preskan ba ito? Uh, bagong Pilipinas briefing. Ang sabi ni uh, Ruelli oh. Rapsing, ang uh, pinuno ng Cagayan PDRRMO, halos simot na ang kanilang quick response fund sa Cagayan. Yeah. Um, 
Okay. Kagayan niya, na? Oh, kagayan, kagayan. Oh, eh, kasi hmm. dumaan ng Christine, tapos ito na si Leon. So, medyo hmm. siguro nagkaroon. Tapos may apat pa na typhoon na parating. Oo, oh, eh, ano pa lang eh. Pa, end of, hmm. end of October pa lang eh. Hmm. Uh, so, kailangan, baka kailangan doon nilang humingi ng pondo mula sa NDRRMC. Sa ngayon, humigit kumulang walong tao ang nag-evacuate sa Cagayan. Uh, kung magtutuloy-tuloy daw ang magandang panahon, ay walong sila'y pauhubi. Walong na. tao? As in... Uh, uh, ne, walong libo. Ah, uh, kailangan walong tao. Ano sabi ko? Sabi mo walong tao. <laughs> walong libong tao uh, ang nag-evacuate. Uh, pero kung uh, magpatuloy daw yung magandang panahon, uh, sabi nga ni Brian, eh, may, medyo umaaraw-araw na, eh, sila'y pauhubi na bago magkabi. <laughs> Okay, okay pa raw ang stockpile ng pagkain para sa mga evacuees, pero ongoing pa ang rapid assessment, uh, damage assessment. Uh, sa Batanas lang, we don't have uh, any quick word yet. Uh, so, yun, baka lang may kilala kayo dyan, Dami. Wala. Wala. Mas may kilala ko across the street. Doon sa Taiwan, Stay marami kong kilala. <laughs> Iba naman yun. <laughs> Sila ba ngayon tinatamaan? No? Diba? Uh, I, think I think Leon is now over Taiwan. Punta ron ngayon siya, papunta. Si Tayo Signal number 5, papunta sa yeah. Taiwan. Saka yung pinupuntahan niya, just across that street, ha? It's one of the most modern cities in Taiwan. Yung pinupuntahan niya. Ibang-iba, para ka nasa ibang ano. It's a different world. Alam ko sabi niya, para nasa ibang bansa. Dyan lang, lang. Yan, uh, 100 <laughs> kilometers away from our territory. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Yeah, ganun lang siya, no? Ibang-ibang ibang, ibang lugar. Although yung natural resources nila pareho. Yung natural terrain pati pareho. Ah. Ay! Hmm. Tapos mo ka nagano nag uh, may nag-viral kahapon ah uh, yung pa, yung oh. panawagan ni Joe Laksamana I, I think isa film director uh, wag na raw ibalita ng Paano? media ang uh, ang pagpasok ng mga bagyo sa Philippine Air Force Possibility oh, kasi nagkakagulo lang daw tapo ng mga tao dahil people equate par with landfall Hmm. Even though par, ang par ay mga isang libong kilometro yan eh, yeah. mula sa ating eastern seaboard eh. Hmm. So, yun ang kanyang panawagan. Iwan na lang natin sa mga eksperto. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I see his point but uh, I also see some, some problems eh. Like for example, uh, hindi, naman, hindi mo naman ibabalita lang yan dahil maglalandfall eh. Kasi kahit hindi hmm. maglandfall yan, oh. tatama ka pa, ah, hagip ka pa rin ng, ano, ng cloud bands eh. May mga, may mga hindi nga bagyo, oh. pero mas malaki yung damage kaysa sa, na yun. kaysa sa bagyo. Hmm. So, diba? kailangan Saka pa kailangan ibalita. maghanda. Kaya lang naman nag-i-issue ng mga ganyan for preparedness. To alert. Ah, especially yan those yan who need to prepare. Ko doon, eh. Saka para ma-justify yung mga flood control projects. Oh, iba pa yun. <laughs> iba pa yun. But on the other hand... Meron bang flood control project? <laughs> Meron ba? May oh, pondo sa, pero wala yung project. Sa pun libro eh. Uh, oh. Ang bilang ay hindi yung pera. Uh, ang bilang. Oh. <laughs> Kasi may pondo siya, pero wala yung project, <laughs> di ba? Pati si Senator Amy Marcos, yung mga sinasabi. Oh. <laughs> pero on the ano other hand, may, may punto si Direk uh, Laksamana na, na kailangan mong ano, uh, kailangan mong ipaliwanag ng maigi ang mga terminology. Kasi we end up using jargon sometimes, ba? Hmm. Uh, and people are getting confused with the jargon that some, people, some of us use. The problem is that if you don't announce it, then you have damage, you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it. Right? So, oh. 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 so yeah. on one hand, so, you'll be able to see it on the side na, of uh, uh, na. Mm. prudence. So on one hand, uh, we, do, we do have to report the entry to the PAR. Just put it in the context. But on the other hand, we also have to be conscious now we need to mm. explain better, I suppose. And, uh, na wala pa rito. Yeah, yeah. Sa, Pero maghahanda ka before it comes here, eh. yeah. mm. di ba? Meron nga, mga yun monsoon lang, eh. mas malaki yung damage so, kaysa typhoons, eh. di ba? Dahil sinisip-sip oh. niya yung kwan, eh. Sinisip-sip niya yung mm. uh, Yan yung malakas na hangin, eh. Mm. Pero kasi nga, di, also his yun, point, ano, eh. Isabel lang nga, remember, mm. sa kanya nag-landfall, pag sa'yo, eh, di ba, in-explain natin ang pag-asa, pag nag-landfall sa lugar mo, yun yung eye no, ano, eh. And that's the eye, eye of the storm, oh. tahimik yun, eh. Mm. Yung paligid, no, ng delegado. Mm. But also, yun yung kapalapit sa par. Mm. But also, to, to his point, kasi, uh, we sometimes use a lot of jargon without bothering to explain. And mm. that, that, I suppose, Mung is also... Mungsunod lang problem. tayo kay... <laughs> But nga, eh, we, 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 nga Ernie. We, we have Ernie to explain these things. Eh. Paka-explain nga yung par. Mm. Diba? You, make the, you make the important interesting and in the, in, in the interesting relevant. Alam mo ba, no, isang araw, pinaliwanag ah. natin ano ba yung sustained... Oh, bugso. Oh, yan, yan. Diba? Ating bugso, oh, yung gusto. Sustained, yeah. saka yung, yung gustiness. Gustiness, oh. Mm. Gustiness. Oh, kasi those are usually oh, used by pag-asa, but if you were, if, kung hindi mo yung paliwanag, eh, parang may memory sa tao, pero hindi alam may ibig sabihin. 
Di ba nga, matagal na natin pinag-uusapan pat kahit yung rainfall warning, hindi maayos-ayos eh. Tsaka intertropical <laughs> convergence zone. <laughs> rainfall warning eh. Di ba ba, pag sinabing uh, Red ganito, ganito Red maraming and inches of rain, baka, Alam niyo ba, baka si Ed sinusukat yung inches eh. Red, yellow, and green. <laughs> millimeters tayo mo, millimeters. Yan. Millimeters ka. Hindi nga pala tayo yung US. Hindi nga pala tayo yung US. Naintindihan niyo ba yun? Millimeter, naintindihan niyo. Oo, may panukat ako dito. Parang ang hirap i-divide. <laughs> Kaya nga, Two inches, no? <laughs> eh kahit yung color hindi ma ano, hindi makuha yung mm. ano, di ba, yung significance ng color warning eh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, we might Alam niyo na gumpisa yung color warning sa red, yellow and green, ha? Mm. Natatandaan niyo yan? It started mm. sa red, yellow and green to denote traffic light colors. Mm. Mm. Kaya lang nagkalituhan ano, yan ano yung green. Saka very political daw eh. Di ba? Very <laughs> political. <laughs> Kaya talaga. Okay, Bok, talaga, mag-gap muna tayo. Uh, paano na lang mag-gap at uh, pagbalik natin, pag-usapan naman natin ang uh, pinakahuling uh, OCTA survey with Professor Ranjit Rai. You're just, uh, you're watching Stark on One News. Just need to take a break. We'll be right back. We've got the developing news and the stories behind the headlines. Welcome back to the StoryCon, our Story Conference. I'm Ed Lingao, and of course with us, Ami Pamintuan of the Philippine Star and Tito Ronald Llamas, our political pundit. The third quarter survey of Okta Research reveals a decline in the trust and performance ratings of uh, President Bongbong Marcos and VP Sara Duterte. Marcos's trust score is down from 71 to 69 percent, while Duterte slipped from 59, uh, slipped to 59 from 65 percent. The satisfaction with the president's performance is at 66 percent, and the VP at 52 percent from 60 percent. Survey was conducted between September 4 and 7 with 1,200 respondents and a plus minus 3% margin of error. Let's talk about Octa's recent survey with its president, Professor Ranjit Rai. Sir, magandang hapon and thank you for joining us and welcome back to the Story Conference. Good afternoon, Prof. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon to Hi, everyone. Professor. Good thank afternoon you, sir, to you all. And thank you for always inviting Okta whenever it uh, of course, sir. comes up with survey results. Of course, We're sir. very grateful mm. for this. Sir, thank you. Take care, sir. Uh, let me start off with your figure two. Uh, Doon sa inyong uh, release. Uh, it showed the, the figures of uh, VP Sara uh, sa trust ratings from October 2022 to September 2024. From 86%. Uh, in the last two years, down to 59%. Uh, that's a drop of 27 percentage points in two years. I'm wondering, because typically, di ba, bumaba ba naman talaga yung, ano, yung, uh, yung mga ratings sa mga politiko over the years. Eh. Uh, pero yeah. is this typical of that drop or is this uh, unusual? I mean, is this uh, something that you, ex you expect in terms of the volume or the amount of drop? Or uh, it's, it's a one-off? Well, you know, uh, in the case of VP Sara Duterte, you know, first of all, we have to emphasize that the survey findings basically say one thing, no? Majority of Filipinos continue to trust and approve of the performance of both the president and the vice president. Mm -hmm. We have to get that first uh, baseline, no? Yeah. So majority of Filipinos, there is, uh, we, we wanted to emphasize a significant drop in trust for VP Duterte at six percentage points and a performance drop of eight percentage points. Now, in the past, uh, there were times that yeah, her numbers would drop uh, one quarter and go up, mm -hmm. similar to that of the president, which, by the way, has uh, a, a, a significant drop also when you look at the long view, no? Oh, yeah, um, the long view. Mm -hmm. But now, we have two uh, quarters uh, where we have a significant drop uh, in the trust and approval ratings of the vice president. So this is a... As we look at the numbers, we always emphasize the trend, the trend. and the trend is downward. So Pero, this is why uh, nga, Prof, we anong, want to emphasize that point. Anong definition yun ng trend? When is it oh, a trend? Amin, ano, two, two quarters sa amin. Ah, two quarters is a trend. Two quarters. Pero no, walang, but, uh, walang percentage it, points. Uh, 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 this is almost three quarters. Eh. Yeah. Uh, when so, it comes to the performance. Eh. Uh, Pero ang ibig sabihin ba ng trend ay 6%? Every quarter, 5%, 2%. So what entails Probably. a trend? It should be uh, significant to the margin of error. So in this case, uh, for the last two quarters, it's been more than three percentage point drops. So five percentage point is considered significant sa uh, Okta given the mm -hmm. 1,200 sample size. So this is, how we're, uh, this is where we're coming from when we say there is a significant drop. Professor, of course, uh, 
clarify lang natin yung period na kinuha niya yung survey. Yes. Hindi pa nangyayari dyan yung two, two events na highlighted yung two Dutertes, eh, VP Sara and her father, Rodrigo Duterte. Yung isa, yung nauna, yung Drag Me to Hell press conference ni VP Sara. And the second, of course, eh, yung nine hours ni President Duterte doon sa Senado. No? Yeah. Ilinawin lang natin. Kinuha, hindi, okay. hindi, hindi, hindi pa kasama yun. Wala pa yung kasama. Dito. Wala pa yung Halloween press conference survey. Oh, oh. Now going oh. to be so, so I'm asking you, uh, with your hat as a political science professor, anong tingin nyo kaya? Yan lang, guess lang. Kung anong magiging impact mo sa mga ratings ni BP Sara? Well, we don't know, you know, uh, honestly. That's hard to say, uh, given that uh, we have two quarters now of uh, declines. No, and uh, we. By the way, we've also given the office of the vice president a copy of this. Mm -hmm. We give everyone a copy uh, of this. This is mm -hmm. a public initiative of Okta. My sense is, you know, um, it's very hard to say. You know, um, VP Sara's uh, this, you know, press conferences were quite uh, controversial, and um, and you know, the the general perception it was negative. But you know, she has a base of support that really yeah. like that you know, those yes. interests. And then the president's performance, former president's performance in the Senate, I think from a PR standpoint was uh, something positive for them. Um, mm. They used it as a platform. Uh, of course, you know, the things he said are quite controversial. They'll have uh, definitely, while I'm not a lawyer, they have legal implications, especially to the ongoing case in the ICC. But politically speaking, you know, uh, they've m managed to use these platforms uh, to, um, uh, you know, uh, strengthen the, you know the excite their base no whatever is left of that base and uh, we don't know what the impact is i'm sorry uh, i won't give you a definite answer there because i'm representing the organization here uh, uh but uh you know we, we don't know the impact yet and maybe that 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 might be positive uh for the fourth quarter we really don't know but right now what we do know based on the data is the numbers are declining and for the first time in almost uh, since the inception of the administration the president has higher trust and approval ratings than the vice president, as, as far as mm -hmm. office is concerned. So this is the first time, actually, in, in uh, two quarters of uh, where the president has a higher trust and uh, performance rating. Nung pinadala nyo, nung pinadala nyo props sa office of the vice president, yung survey results nyo, binigyan mm -hmm. ba nila kayo ng thank you card? <laughs> that was sent in by a viber, and they acknowledged receiving it. I sent it to the, her ano, very good uh, chief of staff. Napaka-old time mo naman. Dapat, ama... dapat nag nagpasalamat pa lang. Kung hindi man Hallmark greeting uh, card. Eh, hindi naman yung tinelegrama siguro yung... <laughs> Ayun naman, no? Pero di ano man, agnostic ang okta dyan sa ganyan. Pero the thing is, we have to emphasize, ah, the two leaders, the president and the vice president, still have majority yes, trust. Yes, yes, bro. And that's what we want to emphasize. Yes, bro. bro. This, in this quarter, the vice president uh, went down... Uh, and all of them had some decline, yeah. but so one yes. was that the president, you know, it's, it's statistically unchanged because it's less than <clears throat> the margin of error. But in Okta, kasi mm. we to emphasize that, you know, we want to show that there is some movement, some erosion. So that's why we reported it that way. But technically speaking, statistically speaking, the president's numbers were virtually unchanged uh, from, uh, yeah. Pero, from uh, the national level, I'm sorry, at the national level, yes. unchanged. From pero, the second quarter. Pero malaki yung Professor, tropa. pero yung pagbaba na yan, ah, consistent din yan, ah, yung kay President Marcos, di ba? Although yeah. in smaller increments, yeah. pero in, in, the, the now, in, in the past, in the past, in the now, yeah. Yes, in the, in now, the past, yeah, so. medyo nagtetend to pumupunta sa kanya, di ba? Yung, yung support ang nawawala kay VP. Some of it goes to him. Pero ngayon ba, meron din kayo nakikita ng ganon? Uh, here's what we're seeing, uh, Amiya. So when we look at yeah. the vice president's number, whether it's trust uh, or performance rating, it went down really hmm. in the capital region uh, by double digits in performance. Uh, uh, the back balance hmm. goes on. Uh, the Visayas. So uh, across the, the the country, there was some uh, uh, you know erosion as far as her trust and performance was concerned in these three areas. No? And then... Uh, hmm. the, loss in uh, uh, class A, B, C, and D. Pero Prop, sabi nyo, nagsimula yung, uh, yung numbers ni Vice President Sara sa 89-90%. Tapos ngayon, mm -hmm. nasa mid-lower 50s. So medyo significant yun. 
yung <laughs> yung ganung klase ng well, over 5% sex uh, significant talaga uh, yan uh, and that's pero what, that, that's a long view that's a long view yes but that's not too long diba that's uh, t- two three quarters so medyo mabilis yon no yung uh, dalawang quarters na yon para sa ganung yeah. kalaki na na pagbaba from 89 to 50s no yeah <laughs> And, and I guess that what years, what the, their team has to look at is really the quarter to quarter also because it, it's now a two quarter decline. She's never had this kind of uh, trend before. Sometimes she goes up, sometimes she goes down uh, as far as trust and performance is concerned. But here we have two uh, quarters, second and third quarter, where uh, the second and the third quarter where she had a uh, decline in both trust and performance. That is significant, more than the margin of error. Tsaka ang significant dito, Prof, ay una yung sa Class D. Yeah, class D. Yeah. Ano, class D is uh, 80% of voters. Eh. Di ba? Yeah. Tapos yep, uh, yep. ikalawa yung NCR, National Capital Region. Although significant din yung Visayas. Pero NCR kasi tsaka yung Class D medyo, si- medyo malaki ah, yung sa survey nyo. At least yung two quarters. Yes. And the distrust rating also for her went up from 11 to 14, which is also something that uh, they should look into. Um, but performance ratings are, are the, the the erosion is quite significant. Now, for example, in overall nationally, it's eight percentage points. In NCR, it's minus twelve percentage points. In Balanced Luzon, it's minus eleven percentage points. In Visayas, it's minus I think this is something like six percentage points. And in Class D, nine percentage points. So th- th- these are the declines, no? Uh, as far as uh, the surveys is concerned. And, and so I think this is something that uh, is notable. That's why we wanted to emphasize it in our press release. But, you know, all of the top officials had some sort of decline mm-hmm. uh, during the quarter. And, uh, but, you know, because it's within the margin error, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's not, it's nominal. But in the case of the vice president, these were the areas where uh, she had notable declines. Yeah. Prof, and, we, Professor, Prof, but that brings me back kahit, to my question kahit earlier. Hindi, ano? uh, hmm. That's why I was asking you earlier, uh, diba, it's, it's always expected na bababa yung mga ratings ng mga hmm. official habang na, sila nakaupo as the years go down. Uh, but in this particular case of, of VP Sara, uh, would this be an unusual decline? Uh, if, saka, if there is such a thing? Saka diba, Prof, I, I, I don't think it's unusual. Uh, when you look at the president's numbers, it's also in the report. Uh, it also declined no? uh, from a high of, uh, I think, uh, for trust, for example, a high of 86. No, uh, it's It's gone down, diba? But the thing is, uh, in the in her case, we wanted to emphasize that it is two quarters already of successive declines, and that's why we want to emphasize it in in the report also. So, uh, oh. and and she's it's unusual for her because she's always been the top government official hmm. so trust and performance. So you know, this is uh, the last two quarters is a contrast to almost two years of uh, you know being on top. Yeah. Pero di ba prop so, Professor, are you conduct conducting a Kahit informal study lang, o oh, ikaw na lang, in your opinion, ano kaya yung factor that's pulling her down? Kasi dati, sinabi niyo mukhang yung mga pag, 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 pagbabanat ni, ng tatay niya sa administration could be a factor. In this case, medyo tumahimik na kumakambyo na si President Duterte. Yung period na covered na yan, ha? Pero yeah. in this case, ano kaya? To what do you attribute the slide, the significant slide? For the, first, yeah, for the first time, no, as a group, we, we became a little more eloquent, a little more dramatic. No? We added some sort of editorial mm. report uh, where we said that, you know, uh, these declines uh, may be, you know, uh, speculate, maybe uh, be- because of the impact of the political dynamics that we have now, where there's, you know, mm. the open uh, fight between the uh, president and the vice president, uh, their families and their political alliances. We can see that also consistent with our other surveys where uh, there was some erosion in the numbers of uh, those who uh, prefer to align themselves with the Duterte family over the last two quarters. No? Uh, a 5% uh, percentage point decrease at the national level. So these are you know, fairly consistent uh, um, findings that show some sort of erosion as far as the both uh, VP Sara from the trust and performance standpoint and also the Duterte family from the you know, from the, at the national level, from uh, from a brand standpoint, so uh, the reports have already been out on the in the media. 
So, this what about is, yung kay President Marcos? Although it's st statistically insignificant yung two points, medyo consistent din yung pagbaba niya. Eto, yeah. at within this period, ano yung nakikita nyo? Inflation pa rin ba? Ano I yun? think so. Uh, yeah, we we're re releasing a report on uh, the top, the urgent personal and uh, national concerns of uh, everyday Filipinos. And uh, I think it's it, it's really number one, managing uh, the price of goods and services. Na? The, managing inflation in particular is number one. Number two is, of course, uh, stagnant wages. No? Uh, third is, of course, uh, affordable food. So those three areas are still where the, the president and the administration need to do a lot more work. Mm -hmm. Although, when you look at our last survey report on poverty, uh, nearly a, more than a million people were taken out of uh, self-rated poverty, or not, did not rate themselves as poor in the third quarter, as well as hunger. No? Uh, these are uh, combined five percentage point drop in self-rated poverty and five percentage, a uh, five point no, uh, five percentage point drop in hunger. So things are happening uh, as far as the administration is concerned, and this is maybe why uh, his numbers have stayed stable, with, whether it's trust or performance in the last two quarters. So maybe that's an inkling. That's where, if the government uh, performs continues to um, create both uh, you know opportunities for economic growth no and social development uh, their trust and approval ratings seem to hold it takes around in our view around two to three quarters for government interventions to be felt which is possibly why uh, we have the uh, you know the trust ratings that and performance ratings that we have for uh, the press then I think uh, there was a, a slight erosion in Mindanao. Okay, uh, as far as the presence numbers and are concerned, and this is the reason why, and in E, but and this is the reason why we saw we observed a nominal decrease in his trust and approval ratings at the national level. But it's largely in Mindanao, and largely uh, with uh, E. For our congressional leaders, I think they still uh, uh, it's uh, basically unchanged for the Speaker of the House. Uh, Martin Romaldes, no, still uh, good, very good trust and uh, approval ratings, no. And for the first time, we're we're um, rating, no, or uh, studying the performance rating of Cheese Escudero, Senate President, uh, for this quarter, the first quarter that we studied his performance ratings, mataas naman po, uh, yeah. So hmm. these these I think are the key findings, no, of uh, uh, the, the, the the survey. Sir, let me ask you to put again, uh, put on again your hat as a political scientist. Not as a, not as Okta, but as a political scientist. Because Karina, we were talking in the, in the previous interview, we were talking about uh, how uh, Sarah's uh, numbers were going down because of uh, the attacks by her father against the president. But uh, hindi, well, hindi captured in this in this uh, survey, di ba? Pero no October 18, yung kanyang uh, drag me to hell press conference, it was Sarah herself who was attacking hmm. the president uh, as a political scientist uh, do you expect uh, further erosion because of that or? i think so you know i think for many filipinos it's, it's also seen in some of our other probes and our fgds that they're not really happy about uh, the politics <coughs> of division uh you know and and uh, this has i think uh, turned a lot of uh individuals off now especially in fgds we we look no at uh, we we listen to young voters and what the young voters are seeing no in our fgds is that they're looking for leaders uh who will bridge no uh who will uh, focus on issues and focus on solving their own problems which are very clear for them the common common uh, statement seen in fgds is sawang sawa na sila sa uh, bangayan politika no uh, our leaders elites fight in fighting no but this is in our fgds no and uh, you hear names like Lisa Ontiveros, Amy Marcos. Uh, you, 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 look, you also hear the name of our former Vice President Lenny Robredo as examples. No? Um, and, and the, you know, this is a growing sentiment when we run FGDs that uh, this politics of division, uh, this politics of, uh, you know, uh, where people insult each other openly, no? Uh, has had a negative effect as far as our uh, citizens are concerned. So th this is uh, something that uh, I think uh, has to be studied, though, and uh, will probably come out in the surveys 
uh, as we run them in the future. Uh, Prof, gusto ko lang ulitin yung tanong ko last time na guest ka namin dito. Kailan yes. kayo maglalabas ng uh, survey para dun sa presidential preference? Na yeah. several months ago, eh, sabi niyo maglalabas kayo <laughs> soon. Yeah, so, no, we, we have it. Actually, we, we continue to uh, to run these probes. But you know, there's a, there's a, there's a dissonance within Okta as to whether we should publish it. Uh, thinking that, you know, it's just three years from now. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it is quite controversial and premature. So, but uh, I will bring, I'll bring this up again with the board and see if uh, there's some changes as far as that policy is concerned. Uh, we haven't had a commission on that uh, lately. This is really just internally among Okta where we, we run scenarios where we have different candidates and different tandems. Uh, one thing's for sure, a big chunk of uh, uh, Filipino voters are undecided and are looking for a new a set of leaders. And for this quarter, just to give you some sense, uh, some of the progressive politicians we know uh, all went up as far as the surveys are concerned. Uh, but there's a, there's a standard, there's a match up that's uh, you know, above everyone else. No? And that match up still continues to uh, be a preferred match up no? uh, as far as our surveys are concerned. Now, this is the, the Match up between Sara Duterte and uh, uh, you know Senator Rafi Tulfo, but you know, again, um, uh, nothing has changed as far as that's concerned. So, um, Professor, yun. sabi ng Chief Justice, wag na wag na daw siyang isama dyan sa mga rate survey niyo. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but but but, but oh, the, the, the Chief Justice, you know, the, the Chief oh. Justice uh, saw a bump, no up. So to mga oh. survey, big trust ratings po niya, so, which is a good thing. For this Di naman daw siya nag-aano ng popularity. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but you know, all the surveys are, uh, you know, they are used for, uh, you know, performance, to study performance, to see, uh, you know, uh, to, to to monitor, no, uh, legitimacy in a sense, no. And so, uh, you know, historically, lagi naman kasama ang Chief Justice. But nobody expects naman that he'll be more popular than the President. Uh, especially now, the last few Chief Justices have been very quiet as far as the media is concerned, but very big on work. So I, I, mm. I think that also the Supreme Court and the judiciary um, look at, uh, you know, trust and performance uh, seriously because, you know, people are also looking and trying to find out what is the, what the judiciary is trying to do, what it has done in terms of reforms. I think it's important. Uh, but again, you're, he's right. It's not about being popular, it's about doing the right thing. And I think the judiciary is trying its best to reform the institution. So, yeah. I, I, hopefully, he will register even higher trust and performance ratings in the next quarter. Okay. Okay. Maraming okay. salamat, uh, Octa Research President Ranjit Rai, sir. Uh, thank you for joining us. And, uh, no, pag uh, meron kang anulit, ha? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you again for always inviting us of course, and uh, for sharing mm -hmm. our uh, data to the public. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor. Okay. And uh, we're out of time already. Uh, we're yes. going to overtime. Malamis salamat, first of all, to Ami Pamintua, ng editor in chief ng Philippine Star, at kay Tito Ronald Yamas, na salamat sa. Uh, <laughs> thank God it's Ronald uh, TGIR. <laughs> <laughs> ang pababalik ni Ronald Yamas. Then again tomorrow at 4 p.m. for the story con at Medlinga where one news all sides all the time. This is the story conference group or the story con group.